Hi everybody, thank you for pressing play on today's video. It is Caroline here from CraftyCarolineCreates.com. It is a Wednesday, so an unusual day for a video for me, from me, but this is something I'm filling in request to you, some questions I had from one of my lovely customers, Elizabeth, and she wanted to know if I had any tips to help her improve her stamping technique, because she's a relatively new stamper. So I thought rather than write her a long email with some hints on, I would film her a quick video. And then I thought, well, why don't I film a video that I can share with everybody? Because maybe there's some other people out there that would appreciate some help. So hope you don't mind, Elizabeth, but I'm going to share this video um, with everybody. And I hope you find it useful particularly. So what do we need to stamp? We need some ink, a stamp set and um, some cardstock, something to stamp onto. I would always recommend... I used to use our Whisper White cardstock. Now, you may think I'm just trying to sell it, but honestly, this is um, perfect for stamping on. It is really, really smooth. If you've never felt it before, it's got a, almost like a slippy finish, um, and it's specially designed for stamping. If you've not tried our Whisper White, I would be more than happy to send you a little sample so you can try for yourself, and hopefully be converted to the benefits of using Whisper White. We are also going to need some ink. Stamping up ink is always what I recommend. Again, I like the size. It's a really good, it's a really good um, size ink pad. So you've got a good surface for inking up larger stamps. Um, and they are also, they, they store upside down. When you open it, you slide it out and flip it over. And that means all your ink is always at the surface, which is really good. I think it's a painted design feature as well. What can happen though is when your ink comes from the factory, it can be what we call a little bit over inked. Um, and what that can do is it gives you little air bubbles when you stamp. Let me just show you. If I just grab a stamp set out of here, let's do this little leaf here. Just mount that up. Um, when you stamp, let me hold it up to the camera and see if you can see. When you stamp, can you see? getting little bubbles appearing on the surface of our ink pad and they're also on the base of our stamp and that just means we're getting too much ink on our stamp and we're not going to get a nice crisp image so what I'd recommend you do is take your bone folder and just gently push that excess ink to one side of your ink pad can you see how it's pooling there where I pushed it along and that'll just distribute it over the rest of the ink pad a little bit fairer and then in a few weeks or months or however often you're using it, if it starts to get a bit dry here, you can push it back. Okay, so that's our ink pad prepared. The last thing we need to do is prepare our stamp. Now, Stamping Up do three types of stamp set. They do wood mount, clear mount and folder polymer, which is this one. If you want to know a little bit more about the different types of stamp set, you can go over to um, a video that I did probably two years ago now, maybe a little bit less, talking about the different types. I will link that below. We're going to use um, folder polymer today. So I'm going to use this big leaf for our example. It has been used before, hence it's a little bit and what I would say is always try and use the smallest block you can comfortably fit your stamps your stamp on so this is B so you can see that B is too small so we'll go up to C and it kind of fits perfectly there we go on C so you want to use the smallest block you can the reason for that is when you stamp down you don't want to be rocking and if you use the smallest block that you can it's actually pretty hard to rock you have to really press down on one of the edges to get it to rock if I show you if I put it on um, a bigger block like this one we stamp down and then it's much you can see you can see as I did that it's much easier to be rocking and it's when you're doing that rocking that you get that what we call ghosting so that's a little image around the edge of the stamp set okay so we'll put this back onto block C oh, and then we're ready to stamp now when we're stamping with folder polymer I would always recommend that you use a full mat this is just a stamping pierce mat underneath your cardstock the reason for that is um, clear mount stamps and wood mount stamps, so I show you, have a little bit of foam underneath the rubber.
and that gives you a little bit of give as you stamp. For the polymer stamps, don't have that, so we need to sort of mimic that um, ourselves. I'm just going to straighten that up a tiny bit more. So we need to mimic that using the the format. Just put this on the block. There we go. So you want it to be on the block with nothing overhanging the sides. We're then going to tap, tap, tap in the middle of our ink pad a few times, okay? And then we just want to go straight down, press down, and lift it back up. And we see we've got a beautiful, perfect impression. Let me just um, get inky fingers, and I'm just going to put the stamp on one of the bigger blocks. And I'll just show you what I mean by that rocking, what happens then. So if we ink that up again, and then if we stamp it down, but we rock, oh, it didn't happen. <laughs> but you can see what you do often get is a little bit of the edge. It's usually happening more um, with the clear mount stamps, perhaps. Let me just try on this one. Oh, put it on the wrong size block. Let's go for a bigger block. And this rule about using the right size stamp blocks, though I've just disproven my theory. Um, this over there you see because I rocked I got a little bit of ghosting there and that's what you can avoid if you use the right size and you can see also because I rocked as little I didn't get quite as neat a finish on there as I did when I used the right size block and that this is just from my finger so you can see the right size block really does make a difference it's people are often surprised by that but using the right size block is a top tip um, yeah, and it's really as simple as that. Just, you know, stamp straight up and straight down. Let me just do another one for you. Let's do a different stamp. Let's do a little one. So here I've got a cloud, a little cloud. I'm going to mount that up on my smallest block. Ink that up. And let's just pop that there. Oh, we don't need the full mat because we are using clear mount straight down and straight up and again you get that beautiful crisp if it focuses image very easily okay so those are my my real my tips so make sure your ink is well distributed on your pad whisper white cardstock and a block that is the smallest size possible for the stamp that you are using if you do use wood mount stamps this, the blocks are perfectly sized so you do not have to worry about it in that respect Hopefully you found that useful and I will um, see you again on Friday. I'll be back with another project video. I think I will have a card for you on my blog um, tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful, Elizabeth. Bye-bye.